Now for an update. Earlier this year, we took you to a Norman-based company that builds single-wall carbon nanotubes, which are microscopic cylinders of carbon that exhibit extraordinary optical and electronic properties. As our student reporter Lisa Riley tells us, with the completion of a new $3.9 million facility, Southwest Nanotechnologies is now providing the spark for an industry that could someday rival the storied oil and gas companies that first powered our state. With the cutting of this ribbon, Southwest Nanotechnologies opened the doors to a new plant. Daniel Rosasco is the founder of the company, and he says the new facility will significantly increase their production of nanotube technology. Uh, this is a unique institution in the country. No many states have the support to fundamental research and apply research. As well. Started in 2001 as a project in one of Rosasco's technology classes at the University of Oklahoma. Southwest Nanotechnologies now leads the nation in the production of single wall nanotubes. Norman Mayor Cindy Rosenthal. It's hard to imagine that it was just a little over a year ago that we had some shovels out in the front lawn and we're turning some dirt and so quickly uh, this dream and vision has come to fruition. The $3.9 million facility occupies 18,000 square feet in the Norman Business Park. Inside, technicians produce single-wall carbon nanotubes that CEO David Author says will revolutionize industries ranging from energy and technology to medicine and health. More humane treatment for cancer. Stronger, stiffer, lighter weight plastics that were, than were ever possible. Uh, Nano cabling allows to conduct electricity a thousand times more than copper. It's going to touch all of our lives in, in more ways than I can even describe. The new facility, which includes a staff of over 20 employees, could double within a few years, bringing more high-tech jobs to Oklahoma. We must focus on creating a knowledge-based economy that is anchored by companies like this one, high-tech, and cutting edge. This is a company that produces uh, a product that is a very high value added uh, and it's based on very high technology. So uh, this is a, a company that gives opportunity for uh, jobs of uh, well-paid jobs, high-tech jobs, uh, something that's not very common in the state. With the opening of this new facility, Southwest Nanotechnologies will be able to greatly expand their production to about a kilogram a week, which is roughly the same weight as a quart of milk. Now, while that may not sound like much, when talking about something that is thinner than the strand of a human hair, a kilogram of nanotubes is worth about a quarter of a million dollars. It's often good to pause for a moment and reflect upon where you have come from how far you have gone, uh, what you have accomplished in the present. According to author, their increase in production capacity will enable the company to meet their customers' demands. And while making single-wall nanotubes a commercial reality, Southwest Nanotechnologies also hopes to make the lives of others better, healthier, and safer. Well, Southwest Nanotechnologies is one of 40 nanotech companies now operating within our state.